I feel like it's been a minute since we've had such beautiful weather, but I am currently at Columbus Circle, I think, in New York. I just left an amazing event with Nordstrom Beauty. It was such a great lunch. We went to the Wolf Restaurant in the Nordstrom Building. And now, I don't know if you guys see Aloe Yoga, but I am going to pop inside Aloe. I want to see what they have, like, accessory-wise, and I think I might want to try on a pair of their leggings because I've never tried them before. I'm trying to enjoy a nice little afternoon stroll before heading back to the apartment and just kind of filming and editing for the rest of the day. Bye, friends! Let me mute the Impractical Jokers really quick so we can catch up. We're back at the apartment right now. That was such a lovely morning. I really love when I have events like earlier in the day because I feel like it's just so nice to wake up in the morning, get ready to go to the events in the afternoon, and then I get to spend some time in New York too, which is always nice. Oh, I've had seltzer in that. I was like, why does my cup smell fruity? My roommate actually sent me this cup. I really like it. I've been using this one like more than my Stanley recently. I also really like the color of this. When I got my Stanley, I got it during the summertime, I think, and I got like a really pretty blue shade, but I kind of like the neutral one. It kind of goes with my vibe a little bit more right now, especially since we're not in like the warmer months, but we're approaching summertime, so my Stanley will make a reappearance soon, but I have not been the most hydrated so I'm gonna try to chug like three of these today. I also lost a nail when I went to aloe yoga earlier, so I have to reapply that. Do you guys ever have one of those days where like you can't wait to take your makeup off? Like I can't wait to take my makeup off right now. I was thinking of like keeping it on for a little bit and maybe like filming more content, but I think I'm going to mostly focus on doing some computer work today. So emails and editing. I just uploaded a video to Instagram and TikTok and YouTube shorts, just chatting about the new Save Beauty concealer. It was nice to do like a little first impression of that. I finished this little cake cupcake thing that we had at the Nordstrom Beauty lunch. It's from Lucy. It was really yummy though, and it literally came with like a cute little flower. Our lunch there was amazing. I love lunches like that. I know I've been talking about it a lot, but like when I have the opportunity to like really sit down with people and connect with them over like a meal and conversation, it's just, it's so nice. So I'm really grateful I was able to go there this morning. It was about like a 45 minute drive into the city, which wasn't too bad. They also were so kind and sent us home with really pretty flowers and then like this amazing goodie bag but they gave us some really beautiful things like i literally just put this on it's called the creme vanilla perfume and then i looked this up and i believe it's like 25 dollars for a fragrance like i'm actually gonna put more on because it smells so so good i've been loving vanilla recently like any kind of vanilla fragrance i just feel like it's the perfect level of sweet for me. I'm not like a fruity fragrance sweet kind of girl, so I really do like the vanilla sweet. I think it's yummy. And then they also sent us home with one of these, La Mer. I've always wanted to try La Mer, like always. So I'm thinking of doing a little try on video of this and using the entire thing and seeing if I feel like it's worth the hype. I've tried so many moisturizers over the years. I love skincare just like I love makeup. So if you guys wanna see a little review on the La Mer cream, please let me know. I did put a little bit on my hand because they like decorated the tables in there with like products and stuff. So I put a little bit of like the La Mer cream on my hand and it was really nice. We also have some brands that I'm not super familiar with. This is the Mind Games Pomegranate Suede. I think this is a fragrance. I kind of want to open this right now. I will say to you, like the Nordstrom beauty team and just everyone there was so kind. Going to events, I never really know who's gonna be there. So it's really fun when you like see a bunch of your friends and get to meet new people. Oh, wow. Why does that always happen? Ooh! I'm in my fragrance era. I never thought that I was gonna be a fragrance girl because I never wore it, but now I'm just like, I'm all about it. Ooh! Oh, I could definitely smell the pomegranate. Oh, that's nice. I like that a lot. It's kind of sexy, like it's a sexy fragrance. 
This is more of like an everyday, like an all day during the day kind of fragrance for me. The other one is more of an evening. We also have the Fleur. This is the Amber Haze scent. I love Fleur. I use their products all the time. The Missing Person perfume is one of my favorites. I love their vanilla spray too. And I put it in my hair too. It's like a hair and body fragrance mist. And I believe Fleur actually sent this to me too. So I have one of these back home in PA. So I'm really excited that I have one here now. I also put this Roz. I think it's called Roz. This is a styling oil. It smooths, protects, and adds shine. I actually just opened this and smelled it at the event and it smelled really yummy, so I can't wait to use that. And then this, the All Hours Bronzer. This is from YSL Beauty. I really like YSL Beauty products. I'm really excited about this bronzer. I'm not entirely sure if it's a cream or a powder. I saw it on display on the table. I think it's a powder. The packaging is really beautiful too. Wow, that's really beautiful. I love that. We're definitely gonna have to do a video on this. I'm really excited to try this though. I've actually been debating trying the Anastasia Brow Freeze for a while, so I'm glad I held off on buying it because they were so kind to gift it to us at the Nordstrom event. We have to do a little review and maybe like a wear test with this brow gel. This is amazing. They gave us a really cute little sheet here. It says, when it comes to beauty, we strive to inspire, engage, and be a trusted resource. You can count on Nordstrom Beauty to discover what's next, and that's why we are excited to share with you our spring 2024 assortment of the newest brand and product launches as well as some of my personal favorites autumn west and autumn is the national beauty director at nordstrom which is incredible so i can't wait to try some of autumn's favorites try all these products we even have the like super glue set which is going to be great for summertime i actually have some of this at home and it's the fluid sheer glow enhancer this is from armani beauty moroccan oil is one of the first hair brands i ever used and then we also have one of the beauty light wands from charlotte tilbury we have a tree hut vanilla scrub in here i don't think i've ever tried these but i've seen them always and i would very much like to try this so i might be using that in the shower tonight i think i will because i self tanned this week and my hands are so dry and I did not properly exfoliate or moisturize them and I put the self tanner on a little too heavy on my hands and then I also had a serum on my neck and unfortunately my self tanner did not go on nicely and smoothly on my neck so I have to exfoliate a little bit tonight and then we have the rapid hydration this is from 54 thrones and it's a cloud moisturizer I really like the packaging I think my nail is in here somewhere I did in fact find my nail, which is fantastic. Woo! I have to glue that back on. Ooh, we have a really pretty MAC lipstick too. Velvet Teddy is like a classic, iconic MAC lipstick shade. It's beautiful. I love that. Well, thank you so much to Nordstrom Beauty. This is so generous and so amazing. I smell yummy right now. I smell like vanilla. I just did a little grocery order. I definitely want to go to the gym because I want to move my body. I'm gonna feel like so much better and have more energy once I go to the gym, but it is six o'clock. I can't believe it's six o'clock. Oh wait, daylight savings. It's actually technically seven. That's why I'm like, why does it feel like it's so much earlier? That's because we're getting more sunlight. That's fantastic. I am probably going to have my Alani pre-workout now and just get ready and go to the gym, get a good little workout in. I'm still gonna push my Myself, but I'm probably gonna push myself in a different way than I originally planned. I was gonna do like a little leg day moment and like use some weights, but I think I might just do like Pilates and I love Pilates. It's like one of my favorite workouts. I do traditional and like classical Pilates and it's just such an amazing like mind body connection. It's such like a burner. And if you've never tried Pilates, highly recommend it. It's amazing for anybody and I always recommend it to anybody. So I'm gonna do that. I'm going to train with my Pilates instructor Tila on Aloe Moves and I'm gonna get ready to go to the gym. But before we go, I forgot. I did go to Aloe Yoga. I wanna do like a little Aloe Yoga haul with you guys. I have no idea what's on the TV behind me. I had Impractical Jokers on. I'm not sure what happened. <laughs> I've always been like a Lululemon girl. Like I always shop at Lululemon. I have a lot of their leggings. I have some sports bras, like jackets. Their Define jackets are my absolute favorite, like the cropped Define. So I wanted to venture out and try some products from Aloe Yoga. And I recently got their scrunch socks. 
socks. So I've tried the scrunch socks because I love a good scrunch sock moment. I really like to push the limit and test the quality of the items I buy. I'm not someone who normally like lays out my clothes to dry. Like even my Lululemon leggings and my Lululemon stuff, it goes into the washer and the dryer after every single workout. And most of the time, 99% of the time, the stuff ends up looking great, but I wanted to try more things from the brand. So I decided to go in today after the event at Nordstrom. I went to Columbus Circle, I think it was called. And I think I was there a very, very long time ago. But anywho, I tried on some of their sports bras. I tried on some of their leggings. There was a sports bra set that I really liked. I was like on the fence about the leggings and I was gonna try them, but they didn't have my size. So I was like, okay, it's not meant to be today. So I put the set back and I figured in a few weeks when I'm in Aloe again and they have the set and they have my size, I can try it on again and see how much I like it. For now, I just kind of wanted to get some accessories that like, I knew I was gonna love. So I love headbands. I'm a really big, like thick headband girl. It's funny cause like, I know that we used to wear like thick headbands like this in the early 2010s, I wanna say, and probably like much earlier too, but that's what I remember. I didn't really get on the headband game back then. My stepsister did, she wore them literally all the time, but I love this and I think it's reversible too. So you can wear it with like the cute little scrunch and the knot in the front, or you can obviously just wear like the aloe in the front. I'm probably gonna wear this today, but it's really pretty. Like the quality of this is quite nice. I does feel good and it was a nice little treat for myself. This was like $24. I know that I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this and it does have that like non-slip kind of grippy texture on the interior, which I really like. I do wanna see how I can take care of this though and clean it because I like to frequently wash my hats and my headbands because especially if I'm wearing makeup to the gym, so makeup and sweat, that can definitely make me break out on my forehead. So I'm gonna wear this today. I hope I love it. I think I'm going to. And then I almost didn't get these and the person that checked me out said that they liked them a lot, but they said they do like the half crew socks. I love these and I think these are gonna look super cute on. I wanted to get like, if I wasn't gonna get like a sports bra and leggings, I wanted to get like a headband and a pair of socks to match or like a pair of socks and a hat, something like that. So I think these will look super cute together. They'll go with everything, which I love. Most of all of my like fitness stuff is either like black, brown, or gray, or white, but I love that. And then the last thing I got, I was kind of on the fence with this because it's so simple, but it's really cute. And I figured I would need something like this to lounge around in and to just kind of have in the warmer months coming up, especially spring. I thought it would be super cute for editing or just hanging out. I could also do Pilates in this if I wanted to, but it's just like a nice little ribbed tank top. It's really cute. It's racer back. It is more of a cropped fit. I ended up getting this in a size small for reference and it wasn't super tight on the like lower part of like my torso. So it was like a little bit looser and I actually almost sized down to an extra small so it could be super tight. But then I realized I actually liked that it was like a little bit looser there, especially for that like casual fit. This one was $48. And again, it is just like a really simple little pretty tank top, but the quality is very nice. And I know that I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this. I really do want to try their famous sweatpants. They have this like knit set there. They didn't have the sweatshirt or the pants that I wanted or I probably would have tried them on. I'm also kind of in the mentality of like getting out of buying fall winter clothing because we are heading into like the warmer months. Not like you can't wear sweatpants in like the summertime, but I was trying to limit myself and have some self-control, but I really like this. It feels really nice. I was like in the fitting room. I'm like big on quality. So I was like in the fitting room, like looking at this logo and I'm like, okay, is this gonna come off at all? Like, is this on there really nicely? Like what makes this tank top 40 some dollars? I think I would try working out in this, like put a little sports bra on and then throw this on top with a cute pair of leggings. I think this would also be great to lift weights in. And then obviously like just lounging. Cute little beginner aloe yoga haul, I guess you could say. And then I literally walked into Lululemon right after that and I was like, oh, I feel safe here because I literally always go to Lulu, but I'm really excited. They were also really nice and they gave me all these like samples cause they like checked to see how many points I had and I didn't have enough points to redeem anything. So they gave me some samples. They were very nice and helpful in there. It was really lovely though, like walking over there in the sunshine, like there's not like a cloud in the sky today. So it was a nice way to end the afternoon. I can't believe it's six o'clock. 
I'm gonna head to the gym. I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini day in the life vlog. I've been having a lot of fun filming these with you guys. All of the videos that I post on YouTube come out Saturday and Sunday at 12. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Spread kind as always, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!